What's good with you guys? It's your man Gip back with another video, back with another truck and vlog. Crazy day, crazy morning, actually, should I say, but we're going to get right into the video. Uh, brief description of today's video without typing all that stuff down in the description box underneath this video, guys. Um, as we all know, the, 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 the trucking is just in the tank right now. So this video is not about that. It's enough bad stuff in the air as far as trucking and how the industry is going right now. But um, as you know, I just like, I don't deal with any dispatchers or personal private brokers or anything like that. I'm just kind of like all over the place, pretty much working the spot market like everybody else. So outside of doing some dedicated work with some containers, from uh, one broker that I deal with. Outside of that, I'm just scouring the spot market like pretty much majority of all owner operators, guys. So I seen um, an interesting load that was kind of on the load board all this morning and it required me using my own trailer. Now, as you know, I haven't been using my own trailer because I look at, you know, my theory on that is I look at it like, if I'm gonna go pull a load for 300 bucks, $400, and I could do it by using only power only, just basically using my tractor, a power only unit, and not having to go through the hassle of going and connecting to my trailer, putting the wear and tear on my trailer. And outside of that, I just don't like the fact that like booking a load for three, 400 bucks, which is not a lot, driving a whole lot of miles, and outside of that, sitting in somebody's live load or unloading dock for hours trying to get loaded and unloaded. And those of you that are in trucking, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you can get in and out of there, but you know, and that's just by luck. A lot of shippers and receivers, sometimes they will get you in and out of there. But most of the time you're gonna be sitting in those dock doors for a long time. Uh, I don't wanna be chasing after no detention, a couple extra dollars. To me, my, more, my time is more valuable. I'd rather just do power only Go connect to somebody's trailer, whether it be Amazon, Schneider, JB Hunter, whatever. Go connect to their trailer. Take it, uh, drop it in some yard. You plan to drop and hook game. Hook up to it, take it somewhere, drop it, and go on about your business. And that just leaves you a lot more time and room to try to find another one. And you could probably squeeze two, maybe even three if you're grinding hard, you know? If I could squeeze two a day in, five, six hundred bucks a day in today's market, that's doing pretty good. But, um, fast forward to this morning, I'm scouring, I'm looking for me some power only work. I seen a load that been on there all morning and I just keep watching it go up and up and up in price, but it required me to have my own trailer. Now today is Martin Luther King's birthday, rest in peace to that man, it's Martin Luther King's birthday. Uh, I reached out to the, uh, the yard manager, a good friend of mine, and I was asking, you know, like, hey babe, is, you know, basically is the yard open today where I've been parking my tra uh, trailer at? I pay for parking over there, but it's a real secure yard. If they're closed, I basically don't have no access to get behind their gate to get to my equipment. That's one thing I don't like. But at the same time, you know, that was the only thing I could have find at that time when I was looking for truck parking. So he said, yeah, they open today, but then he dropped the bomb on me. He said, man, hey, you know, I'm not no longer over there no more managing that yard. He works for CRST. He told me that CRST lost their account with international paper as far as pulling loads out of that uh, paper products plant. And um, wow, man, my heart just sank. I was like, wow, like to myself, like when was this guy going to call and let me know about this? He said he had reached out to the yard manager there for international paper to see if I could go ahead and continue parking there and I just go ahead and pay him. And he said he don't think that that was going to happen. I'm like, wow, man, you know, truck parking, trying to find truck parking in Los Angeles is more than a notion. Excuse me, it's not a lot of like available lots. I mean, it's just the square footage in LA does not permit it. So I'm like thinking like, wow, I'm going to have to be getting in my truck driving around all day, driving out to the Inland Empire, just basically going on a mad, crazy, wild goose hunt, man, trying to find some truck parking, guys. So I'm like, wow, man. So then the light bulb went off in my head. You know, it's been a while since I even been over to that yard checking on my trailer. And I'm like, you know what, let me jump in my truck, man. 
go over here, drive, and see if I can see the yard manager there. Let me just go see what's going on. If that, if CRST has already started the process of clearing all their trailers out, I don't want my stuff just sitting here on the yard sticking out like a sore thumb. I'm just a one tractor, one trailer show. And basically, let me get my butt out this house and go over here and check on my trailer. So as I'm driving to check on my trailer, in the back of my head, I'm thinking like, wow, man, where do I start? Where do I even begin to go even looking for truck parking? Definitely not nowhere in the inner city. That's not going to happen. It would be easy to find like for tractor. Easy, My I want my chances of finding just for a tractor space would have been good. And um, so as I'm on the highway heading over here to check on my trailer, I seen like a, a bunch of trailers and containers lined up right off one of the expressways here. So some told me, hey man, just get off, go over there, check and see what they got. You know, I was just keeping my fingers crossed. Long story short, I ended up bumping to the yard manager over there and he told me that they did have some truck spaces available. Uh, only thing is I will be having to pay additional $150 a month. My space will be 500 a month as opposed to the 350 I had been paying. I do like the fact that I have 24 seven access to the yard to go and come as I please. And um, I was just like, wow, man, a prayer, you know, sometimes you gotta wait on the prayers or sometimes the most high will send you your prayer answer quickly, guys. Get out the truck, man. You can see right now, actually in an undisclosed location, wanted to come over here and uh, take a look at the yard that he had sent me to they have two yards but the uh the yard where i was speaking to the gentleman at is a lot closer to where i live and he said you know maybe in a couple months they'll have a space available there and i could switch from here to that space which would be a lot better but uh right now man it's 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 tough guys this right here is not even a hard decision i know exactly you know, like this area, I don't know how sketchy it is. That's why I wanted to come here first before I actually give him the okay. I'm gonna go ahead and drive around. I really wanted to see what the ground was like and how the fencing was here. Cause sometimes you get these trucks and I might have a load on my trailer that might have to deliver the next day. And um, you just want your stuff to be secure, man. He did give me the, uh, the code to the gate. So it was open when I got here. I'm gonna just go over here and see. I guess this is one of those padlocks where you could go ahead and um, manually input the, uh, yeah, you manually go ahead, input the code to get in and out of here. I do like the fact that that 24 seven access to whenever I need to get in and out of here. Watch truck start parking in this space. I have been seeing this because just up the street from here is the Volvo dealer. I'm always here. This is where I go to the Volvo dealer when I'm getting work done on the B. So as I would leave, you know, I actually come up right here and jump on the expressway right here. I do like the fact that it's right off the highway, which is a plus. But when he told me where it was, I knew exactly where he was talking about. So I know I might be fumbling with my words. It's just kind of distraught, man. It's hard to bring good content when you got a lot going on in your head. Racing thoughts. This truck parking is crazy. Crazy. Expenses done went up $150 that quick. $500 for parking. So I'm going to go ahead and drive through this lot, take a look, see what other kind of equipment is parked here. And, uh... Yeah, it's crazy. I could already see, like, pulling in here, you can see how low this bridge area is right here. So I even, I mean, it's just good to come see what's going on and seeing what you're getting yourself into. But as you can see, definitely have to stay out to the right and stay wide. Because look, you would tear your equipment up if you don't stay over here to the far right. This, this height here looks pretty good. You need at least 14 feet clearance, but... Right here, you tear something up trying to get in here and park. So, uh, I better go ahead and tell him it's a go. I'm gonna go ahead and drive around. Let's take a look, see what it looks like in here, man. Way too long, the spacer. Pretty sure this lot will fill up fairly fast as I've already been getting to see trucks come over here. 
more and more as I pass by here each day. And it was a hell of a coincidence that he actually owns this yard as well. Because I was on my way here when I got that news from my guy as far as me having to possibly move my uh, trailer from that yard. So let's just drive through here, take a look. See what's going on with the yard. I'm already seeing a couple holes in the fence. See it's stuff like that. I don't like. Y'all see that hole? There's the man. Not good you guys can see it. But basically it's a hole in the fence. And you know, I really it's easy to avoid getting a load that may uh have a uh a load where you gotta babysit the trailer overnight. If that's the case, shit, I could just spend the night in the truck if it was something like that. But once again, like I was telling you guys, I haven't even been doing a lot of loads where the trailer is required. Just doing this power only stuff. So you can see they already filling up with uh, trucks over here, man. Already. So I just want to come take a look. I guess I would have to just basically make my own space which could be right here, anywhere under this highway. And uh, I think that's what I'm gonna go on and do, man, and stop playing around. Yeah, but you see like thieves, and that's what I'd really be more for. You just don't want nobody coming and vandalizing your stuff and spray painting it. You can see how they have these guys parked here in their trucks and stuff like that. So I don't know if this is somebody up here who's homeless living in this little trailer right here or are they somewhat like security for the yard to watch at night that would be a plus that could be the case where they just watch the yard at night but I just still wanted to come drive through here and put my eyes on where I would possibly be parking my equipment so it definitely wouldn't be down here it's kind of tight this would be good area for tractor only better go ahead and take advantage of it man a little dog right there looking vicious a lot of low low space low spots so actually it would be a lot less spaces available anyway i definitely would have to pull down here somewhere where you can even get in here without having to worry about scraping the top of your equipment up. See a lady right here, let me ask. How you doing? I was wondering, do you park here? For, yeah, I want to ask you, how's the lot? Is it a cool lot? Because I, I just spoke to the guy, Junior, and he sent me over here. I said, let me go take a look and see what's going on. You know what I mean? Cause it's cool here. Yeah, you know, I, you be worried about the vandalism and all that shit. I know, but you know what? They got security. Oh, they do? Okay, that's cool. Oh, so they check on you. Right, yeah, because I see the little holes in the fences and stuff. You know, sometimes you might have that freight on your truck. and Yeah, yeah so I just I said, let me stop it. Oh, since then. You see the whole right. Thing yeah, yeah. And then like, uh, there's a trailer. Yeah. He a little half like little mechanic too, so he watches out. He gangsta. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I just seen it. And he fixed that dog. Yeah, I said let me back up and holler at the sister and see. I said, I figure you park here. So you know it's good to ask questions and come look around. And it's so hard to find parking in LA. This shit is ridiculous, man. Yeah, yeah, right. So this is about close enough. Yeah, it's crazy. It's easy to find it for a tractor, but when you got your trailer, you need some space. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. That's cool. Alright, alright, my name is Trey. What's yours? Trey? Yeah, Trey. Yeah. Yeah. Trey 
Tracy? All right, all right. Well, I'll probably see you around. I'm probably, I'm probably going to go ahead and tell him I'm cool with it. I just want to come take a look first. And my husband has a yellow truck. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right, cool. All right. Okay, I'll see y'all around. All right, thanks for the information. All right. Just talking to the sister. She said it's cool. She said they be having security here at night because they had a couple situations here. But uh, yeah, man, I guess this is a go, guys. This is where we gonna be. I like how the ground looks, nice and level. She said it's a gentleman that uh that he be here overnight. He got his dog down here, whatever. I guess in that trailer that we was just looking at. So I'm the type of person I know how to get on somebody good side, man. I know how to you know grease his palms a couple extra dollars too. Look out for the people that actually live here and work on this yard and. You know, just to get that little extra pad of security. Alright y'all, so I made it over here. Like I say, where I normally have been parking at. I sure am keeping my fingers crossed that everything is good with my trailer back here. I still see a couple of uh, gardener trailers here. I see some McKinney trailers. So I guess whoever got this account now obviously uses McKinney trailers. But, uh, okay, I still see a couple uh, CRST trucks here too. So, go ahead and uh, take a look, man. Let's go take a look at the drive, man. Make sure everything is good. Where's my trailer at, man? Yeah, so I was just talking to one of the drivers and uh, I guess it's true, guys. They're gonna be uh, switching everything over to another company. But uh, he said they were able to go ahead and apply with the company that's taking this account over that way they get to keep their job so that's pretty good for them man but let me see came to check on everything i haven't connected to this thing in a very long time man let's check these tires tires is good let's look in the back man Oh man, nice and clean and dry. Need to get some freight back here and get to some money. Seal in here from the last load. Check these other tires. Oh, flaps is good. Tires is good. Airlines is still nice, good condition, man. All right, so we good. I just got kind of concerned, like I said, because it's been a while since I've been over here. It's been a while since I connected to this thing. Pulling some freight in it, like I was telling you. To me, it's just a lot more logical doing power only right now. If you're gonna be making the same amount of money, but uh, now that we went and uh, looked at the yard and came over here, checked on the van, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of the uh, plate and the trailer number and send it to the guy who manages the uh our new space at the other location let her know thank you appreciate it and i guess i'll come back later on late tonight once the traffic dies down connect to connect to my own joint man and get her moved up out of here but I used to get tired of dealing with all this stuff too. Like I would might I would be come here more, some mornings to get my trailer, and they would always have their trucks parked in front of my trailer. 
like this here. I mean, the guys was pretty fast about moving it, but I used to just get hot at that because I used to just feel like, man, I'm paying my money to park. And uh, why do I got to deal with um, having to fight to get to my trailer? Grommet is looking good. Electrical connection is good. The next day. It's crazy, guys, because before I used to come over here and be kind of like these trucks right here. Parked out here. So I would, uh, Essentially just try to come over here certain hours of the night and just park out here like this red truck right here Actually down here where that white building is, you know, you come at a certain hour and a lot of these cars would not be out here But I didn't want to be like one of these renegade parkers like that man. You just run the risk of uh like uh Graffiti You know people tampering with your loads if you got a load on there. I remember I came over here one morning it looked like somebody had been jiggling with my doors the locks on the uh trailer doors appeared to have been tampered with i don't know if i had left it like that the night before or not but um that's the beauty of just going on and being able to pay for a more secure parking and uh you don't have to run the risk of taking a loss with any of your freight being one of these renegade parkers just parking throughout the city just anywhere you could find at night i was doing that before i ended up with a couple 500 dollar tickets doing that as well and that's never fun so i might as well just go ahead and pay this guy his 500 got his check right here about to go drop that to him and uh just be safe you know somewhere that's designated for truck parking and uh don't have to worry about the night scoundrels moving around with your stuff man you know what i mean but right now we are at another undisclosed location I need to come over here and get something out of my uh, self stores that I'm gonna need for my trailer. It's crazy too, man, because every time I come over here, I freaking forget which space we're at. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's 19. We're just gonna check every door and see. Nope. Is it 20? Nope. 27. Let's go back this way, man. This is crazy. It's been such a long time since I've been over here. Let's try this one. Nope. All right, I think I found it, guys. Let's wait and check my email from the damn automatic billing this expensive ass space and here we are this would be it right here but I checked this one there we go there we go man oh, little baby unit Need to actually go ahead and get all this little bit of stuff up out of here. But I'm looking for a little small box, man. With something I ordered quite some time ago for the trailer. Oh, here it is, right here. This is what I need right here, guys. I know you guys have seen these before. And it was for them. What happened to the other one? But this is what I need. 
four of them is a good sign, I guess, huh? Well, it's down to three, it's one missing. So maybe one day we'll end up with three trailers, man, if this market ever picks back up. But this is what I need. Where are the keys? Here we go. Uh, I don't know what the heck that's for. But yeah, this is basically a lock that goes around the uh, the kingpin on the trailer, man. So I have been doing, like I say, a lot of power only. And I want to be able to go ahead and secure my trailer a little bit more instead of just leaving it wide open. Being that this yard seems to have a little easier access than where I'm parking at now. So uh, that's what I needed right here. So essentially how this thing works is you just would slide this up underneath the front of the trailer onto the kingpin and then uh, this little metal piece right there. Once you turn the key, you see how it kind of like sticks out. So this would hold it in place. Basically this just will prevent somebody from just coming and uh, coupling to your trailer, man. So it's pretty ironic how yesterday as I was driving along this little stretch of highway right here I was in a bad state of mind yesterday guys when I got the bad news of uh, possibly having to uh, not possibly but I was gonna have to go ahead and find new truck parking so as I was driving along this stretch of highway you can see all these trucks parked over here to the right off the interstate and you can see vehicles parked there too and as I was driving right here, you can see the dry vans all lined up right here. So something told me, hey, jump off the highway, go over there and see what's going on. You never know. So once I had seen that, I went on and got off the expressway, started wiggling my way through these side streets, through this residential neighborhood, trying to work my way back over here to this yard that I had seen off the highway. So I'm wiggling through here, made a couple wrong turns circle back around you know la county is a big big county wiggle my way through here never been through this part of town before i always pass through it on the expressway and went this way went that way and i finally end up finding the entrance to the yard so yeah guys is going out so once I find my way back over here to the yard I come up in here long story short I end up bumping into the guy who was the yard manager here at this specific particular uh truck parking yard and I like this one because I literally live probably 10 to 15 minutes from here so I'm like man this would be ideal but you know truck parking is really a hot commodity and hard to find in LA County so I wasn't expecting, you know, to break any luck, but I was in such a bad state of mind. I wanted to still come over here and take a look and see, you know, you never know. I might get lucky. So I spoke to one of the gentlemen here. Uh, he pointed me in the direction of the yard manager. Got a hold of the yard manager, and it was pretty uh, ironic that he did have some space. And coincidentally, guys, he had a space at the one we went to yesterday that I showed you when we walked around here we went to go survey the land and see what it looks like but I was actually on my way to that place first so I'm glad I did stop here I was able to catch up with the owner he was here at this facility like I told him you know he said he was gonna have a couple spaces come available here from a couple trucks leaving and I would rather be here it's a little tighter but you can still make it happen just kind of want to drive to the back and see what it looks like in the back. Because I'm trying to figure out, I guess this is the little assigned area right here. That he designated to the uh, tractor trailers. And I guess a couple of these guys are leaving. Two spaces are coming available. So I was just curious to see like as to where they go and turn around to get parked at this uh direction of parking the way the truck and trailer is angled all right y'all so i went on and broke bread with the guy 
So now I officially have another parking space. And um, happy about that. It's a trip too, how uh, when I got that bad news and left out of the house in the rage, like wow, man, I thought I was gonna be on a mission yesterday, driving, like I say, all out in Riverside County. Cause I thought really I was gonna have to go probably about an hour east of LA County to, uh, you know, out in the Riverside area, Inland Empire area, for those of you who may know how LA is set up because I know they have a lot more land out that way, open land, where I would have been able to find a space. That's what I was thinking I was gonna have to do. And I was doing that before, and I was spending weeks on weeks on weeks looking for a space. So the reason I'm explaining to you this is, man, I sent up a prayer to the Most High, and sometimes, man, you know, you might not get your prayer answered when you want, but He sure will come through when you really need Him. And I really needed Him yesterday. I'm not going to cap to you. I was distraught. Like I said, you can see these trucks lined up as I was driving along the expressway just on the other side of that fence. Came over here just to ask and look around, snooping around. As you can see, it's sold up. It's equipment everywhere. There's cars parked everywhere. These guys is parking over here and they go to work. And uh, prayer was answered, man. The prayer was answered when I really needed it to be answered. And I'm so happy about that. All right, guys, so we're going to get the fluids checked on this thing. Be on about our business. Got to stay on top of your uh, preventative maintenance. So, as you know, on your uh, pre chip, basically checking all your fluids. Oil is good. You like to check the coolant reservoir. Nice and full. Looking over a lot of my hoses. Looking for any signs of any leaks. Nice and dry. That's what you want to have. Nice and dry engine, man. I like to give a little twist on my drive shaft. Power steering fluid up here. Air relay. No cracks in the air lines. Everything's nice and dry, man. And we ready to get this bad boy started up. Let the oil run through here. Warm up on this D13. cranks right up y'all let this bad boy warm up for a minute she's been sitting let's go check the rubber watch the airbags fill up see how low they sitting we ain't been doing nothing the last three, four days. Not an ounce of air in those. Flash is on. She's lit, she's lit. Rising up. All right, guys. So I made it over here to the facility to pick up my trailer. All good things come to an end. It's a trip. I've been parking here for the last what? Ever since basically I had this truck. Authority's going on what? Into my third year, and uh, it's a wrap, man. I'm out of here. CRST's out of here. It's unfortunate that they lost their account with international paper. So who knows what was going on in their back offices as far as, you know, 
Maybe it was a discrepancy in the amount of money that they was paying per load. Basically what comes out of here is uh, all different sizes and forms of cardboard that they make out of these paper rolls. These paper rolls are extremely heavy. But uh, it's quite unfortunate because this, like I say, where I got my start back in trucking when I jumped back in the game after the pandemic. I was pulling loads, working with CRST. It was actually Gardner at that time. Gardner Truck and a local trucking company. CRST bought them out. And um, here we are. They done lost their account. Whatever it is they had going on with international paper, they don't got it going on no more. Let's take all our baby. We coming to pick her up. It's going to get coupled. And you got a new home for you. So we connected guys. Let's get these landing gear up. Got the electrical connected. Let's get some lights on and some hazard lights going. Check the lights on the trailer. It's been a minute since we've been connected to those. Airlines and electrical. Wow, let's get them turned on. Got blinking on the left side of the trailer. Red tail light. Upper clearance lights are good. Right clearance is good. Right side turn signal on the trailer is good. y'all we out never to return it's fun why it lasted never gonna be etched in stone until i get my own plot of land where i'm gonna be going collecting the 500 a month per truck for truck parking but we out So I'm literally like 10 minutes away from the old yard to where I'm parking at now. But I do like the fact how this new spot sits right off the freeway. I mean, as soon as you exit, you make a couple turns and you can go ahead and pull into your spot. So that's always a plus for these tractor trailers being close to the expressways because that's where we spend most of our time. And uh, just avoid twisting and turning through these streets trying to get to the highway to go ahead and execute your law.
this hot hundred in here, guys. Hot hundred done. I ain't even got a load, but we on bare E. I don't want to be riding around on fumes like that. I like to get my fuel out in the IE a lot cheaper than this uh, $4.99 a gallon that we got here. Hot little huncho in here to uh, keep us going. So we here at the new home. Just got through talking to a young lady who pretty much keeps a lookout on the yard and does security. She was just riding through here. She was telling me that the gentleman that stays in this uh, camper right over here underneath the uh, overpass, right there, he's pretty much here 24 seven. So that's a plus. But uh, we in here, man, right under the freeway, pass above us. Wish I actually had more room to back up and keep the tractor underneath here. So I went on and disconnected providers. Got us in a cool spot. It's my first time actually using this right here. So you see how it basically prevents somebody from coming to uh couples or what's mine normally they got those like airline locks that you go here but they normally could just rip those off they would have to basically pretty much destroy the whole kingpin to get that one off so it's all good we good we good we good i'm gonna go ahead and bring this video to an end guys it's been real hanging out with you went through this crazy dilemma trying to get my parking situation under control like i said the man upstairs he came through for your boy fast super fast so we locked in we locked in and uh yeah new home truck life until we see again be sure to subscribe like comment all that good stuff i'll see y'all on the next one man i'm out